See those two fighters behind me? They are going to be fighting for the fourth time. Who takes it, Davison Figueroa or Brandon Moreno? I asked fighters their opinion in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. I know, it, 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 it's, it, it's, a, it's a tough one. Uh, I like Moreno. I think he's going to be able to do it. I like his jiu-jitsu. I like his whole story of going from being cut for the UFC, not having these opportunities to then becoming the world title uh, holder. Uh, I like his whole world of collects Lego, builds Lego. I like that about him. I like he's a bit of a character, but in the same breath, not that I don't like Figueredo. It's just, it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? It could be anyway, and I think the fights have been very, very close, but I'm going to go with Moreno, and it's probably going to go the distance. I'm going to have to go with Moreno. I can see that he's really changing his game. Like He's not even striking the same, and I think uh, he's going to be able to get him out of there. I think it's going to look more like the fight where he rear naked choked him and finished him. Man, fuck, I don't fucking. I, I'm going for uh, Moreno, but uh, man, I, that fight's a toss up. You have you seen their fights? This you never know who's gonna fucking win. It's, but I'll be pulling for Moreno. I just like loved his speech. I I didn't he get cut from the UFC and then he came back and he became a champion. Like love that story. I think that's cool. Uh, but Figueroa's a real exciting fighter. I like exciting fighters. Like I love watching them. Obviously, I'm gonna enjoy the fight, kind of no matter how it turns out, but. If you're asking like who I just favor a little bit, I'll say Moreno. Man, you know, I honestly don't think that Figueroa's ever really beat Brandon Moreno. Um, I thought, you know, like I sat next to his wife at Jason House, Jason House's house, you know, watching that fight the first time. And like, I was confident, like, I'm like, he did it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling her, like, he did it and he did it. Uh, you know, I think Brandon Moreno is, is, is still hungry, getting better. You know, I don't know what Figueredo's doing. You know what I mean? Maybe he's more motivated for this fight, but he really like, kind of quit the last time they fought. So, I don't know. I think I think Moreno's going to do it again for the third time. You know what I mean? I think he's been robbed twice in, in these fights. I really think that he, he's the better fighter. You know what I mean? And he's gritty, and he he gets in there, and, and, and he makes it happen. Like no matter what the cost, like Brandon Moreno's an impressive, impressive like competitor. You know, I think he's gonna, I think he, I think he almost has to stop Figueroa. You know what I mean? Because for whatever reason, like that gets favored a lot in the in the hands of the judges. But you know, I think he can do it. I think he takes back and shows him again. Brandon Moreno, man. Uh, I, I went back and forth on this one for a little bit, but then I got to think about it, man. Brandon has been more active. You know, Brandon's not as a big 125er, or if he is, he's more active and makes the cut easier. I think Figgy's going to have a big weight cut. He's been caught up in a lot of other stuff with the, you know, politics and then not wanting to fight for the interim title or the interim title being up for grabs because he got hurt. And, uh, so I think Brandon's going to get it. I think he's going to push the pace and might be another decision because I know Little Fig's hard to finish, but I'd like to see Brandon get the submission and the round four or five.